Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2, an untitled Byzantine Bash. We're live on Twitch. We're uh, having a good time. Uh, we're going to be playing as the Byzantine Empire today, and here's why. My unexpected Llewellyn campaign was before Iron Century came out. Iron Century has changed the map, as you surely are aware by now. So there's no... Uh, there's no sense in trying to load an old campaign in when it's, like, already one or two generations behind. And anyway, I think I tried to do that, but I think I hit the play as button and it just didn't work. So anyway, uh, for those of you who are new to uh, my campaign style, I pretty much just wing it and go from there. I just uh, want to double check that I've got this on hard mode. That was a thing previously. I'm, I'm assuming I do. Um... I love a difficulty button right here. Well, we're going with what we got because we're live and I don't want to waste anyone's time. And anyway, it's a game. This is the first time I've played the Byzantine Empire since um, my J Biz campaign, which was, again, J Dragon. So we're going way back, we're talking. Um, but anyway, for my style of campaigns, what I do is I tend to just freestyle things. I tend to try to just have some fun, see what works, engage with chat most of the time. And, oh, one other thing. Uh, I do like 18 and a half minute clips typically. I'm live on Twitch in between episodes, going in between things, trying to figure stuff out. So anyway, we're Baselios Constantos Ets of the Byzantine Empire. It is September 15th, 1066, Crusades. We might have to defend against one. What's our situation? I have no idea. I haven't done a Byzantine campaign in a long time. We're awful. Our stats are terrible. Uh, my wife is the Countess of Lesbos. So my, my nephew is my heir. That's fine. I'm okay with that, even though maybe it should be my son. I know inheritance is different now. I'm nowhere near my domain limit, which is a good thing, because if I can snag a couple of little provinces real fast, I can balloon myself to be a lot less weak. With that in mind, I think I'm going to take... The only focus that makes any sense to me right now is... The, is uh, what do I need to get into the Hermits? The Hermits? The Hermetics. Learning 10. That means I'm 60. Oh dear. Let's pick Theology. It gets me into the Hermetics. It's not going to help me very much, but it boosts my learning. Uh, learning is tech, at least. I guess I have to start for that. Okay. I'll make a friend. Sure, I'm 60. I'm going to die soon if this doesn't. I'm club-footed. Oh, boy. I'm lustful? Okay, well, that's a plus. So, laws. He has 135 supporters. That makes a lot of sense. How does this work? View electors. I have 135 things. The Baselli's body should not be twisted or disfigured. I was he was not born in the purple. He is prestigious. It looks like I'm the only elector, so that's fine. I just make it my son. Here you go. Oh my god, he's a super big problem. Never mind. What about this guy? doesn't like me but he's actually pretty decent mm, Midas touched I could use that he's my nephew congratulations nephew of the air <laughs> good luck kid <laughs> all right this might turn out to be great who knew and one day the Emperor had a an epiphany what the hell map was I looking at just there the Ecumenical Patriarchy? What? 
I must be losing my mind. Okay, fine, fair enough. Maybe I was looking at Subvassal Realm. I don't know, whatever. Uh, so knowing that we could get crusaded almost at any moment, let's see what we can do to, to steal land. You, you have no overlord. Are any of these provinces particularly lucrative? I want Antioch so bad. All right, well, the answer to that is not really. This is land in Galilee. I can get two things in Galilee. Form a duchy down there. Um. Plus, I'm going to assume this is the Duke of Tripoli. No, he's the Duke of Antioch. Well, actually, we only only one here, so having two gives us 50. That's not 51, but whatever. It keeps him from getting it, and then having the du jour. So you're you're the target. Congratulations. Uh, war deck, war deck. Don't care about any of that. Is that found crown focus? Ah, I can not speak today. Okay. But we just do it the hard way. So Hagia Sophia. Well, let's see what one of these things is when it's completed. Stage four. Completed by Basilius. Damn straight. Loot it. I need a lot of freaking money. Proud opinion plus five. That makes no sense. Siege defense is nice. Like, which of these would I use, even? And you do have to spare me. I, I haven't even gotten to play with this a lot. I really haven't played a lot of CK2 lately. So I really do want to spend the time to go through and just see, like, all right, what can I do here? So City Vassal Opinions. And plus, maybe you didn't know this. Cruel Opinion plus 10 can be used to execute and enables intimidation. Okay. Dynasty. Movement speed. Levy size is the thing I would want. I already have, apparently. No. Then what's this? Okay, that's just weird then. Enables private conversation. Ah, uh, that, that sounds like torture. I could swear one of them looked different. It's that. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm a little uh, hallucinatory sometimes. I'm kidding. Levy size 10. The cast. That could be useful. That also could be useful. Great work, right new. Climate one, land organization five. I'm not sure what that means. Tavern allows you to reduce stress. That's pretty cool. Well, something to save up for, I guess. Do I own any others out of curiosity? All right. I have two. I have the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, which is monthly prestige plus five. A bunch of stuff. All right, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot we're needing more. Well, too bad, huh, Frost? Let's see here. Suddenly, kingdoming things out sounds a lot more appealing, doesn't it? Well. Start by telling everyone who can march to march. You're going to hide in the mountains, behind a river. You're going to get on the boat. You're going to get on the boat. 
you two are gonna boat over. And yes, I very childishly say boat over. It's just what I do. Leave me alone. Um. Oh, okay. So if I hit the religion tab, this happens. Interesting. I like that. Shows the patriarchs. Let me land this wrong religion. You go here. I didn't even look at commanders or anything, did I? That's probably a thing I should do. First of all, I should definitely not be leading troops. Just get that out of the way. If this is your first time ever watching somebody play Crusader Kings, the way the game is set up now, unless you've got like a plus 100 at least, don't even roll out in combat because you're just at too great a risk of dying and that's just bad. Obviously, if you're really good at leading armies and you can make sure you never lose a battle, feel free to play around. I just know too many players that have been like, oh snap. So anyway, I'm going to search all, I'm going to search for organizer. And the best in the world will come to me for money, but the best in the world, not the best in the world will come to me for free. Just got morale defense. He's worth 15 ducats. I mean, unless I've got anything really much better. I should probably appoint things too while I'm at it. <laughs> Just a thought. You know, just kind of keep their, uh, keep the border guys happy enough to not want to kill you. I can apparently name a lot of these people. That's a lot of monthly salary, though. <sighs> I don't want to burn through my entire bank just to buy people off. Definitely get my heir some prestige, though. That's a plus. So I have 15 direct leading. So you are not very much good at anything. There's nobody hiding anywhere. That's really good. Not even like a cheap seizure. All right, then let's bribe you. And now siege. And he's a duelist? Oh my word. And can we get a defender? All right, that's fine. Wait a couple days. Speed five this sucker for a bit. Uh, I've been noticed as a good religious guy. I'm going to join the Hermetics. That's what I desire to hear. Let's try to stabilize this realm as much as we possibly can for our child before we're, you know, playing as our child. What's my balance right now? I'm plus 29. Let's start building some retinue. Even if it's just some cheap stuff. Like, I'll take the cheapest I can get. I only set a half reinforce rate. I've already made a friend. So that's pretty neat. I guess I'll get prestige if I can, but good luck with that. I'm going to die. And you, my friend. Our siege guy, your siege guy. I have a 16 flanker. That's pretty good, too. What's this about? Let me guess. I can only make people commanders who are... Commanders. Liege, character, one of the true... Yep. He has to be... At least a baron...
So if I did that, would it be any good? Can I grant him land? Do I even have land to grant? No. So I'm going to have to grant these guys land, basically, if I want them to be of any use to me, which isn't impossible. I'll get some. A new heir. My son. I have a son who's my heir. That's fine. Um... Sure, kiddo. So you, I need to figure out how to revoke. Now, let's start trying to fabricate a claim on that sucker, at least. Unless I can flat out revoke it. By plot, that I might do. Wow, I can revoke a lot of stuff. I can plot to revoke this. Yep, yep. Pretty much everyone wants money, but we'll see how that goes. What's this? Oh, neat. Look at the wrong place. Um, inspiring leader does what? Yes, please. Domestic of Scully Palatine. Oh, that's new, isn't it? Yeah, I'll definitely owe you a favor, bro. Whatever, that's fine. That's a death stack. Hmm. Trigger, how are you, sir? Uh, I don't have that kind of money, but it's one free learning. That's fine. That's less fine. Servant is converted. Praise God. Excellent. What just happened to you? So the Seliuks are coming in for the win, huh? Probably a bad time to declare two wars. <laughs> I'm not in a position to fight China right now. So 14,000. That's all I can expect him to have. He can have up to 25. I need to kill that ASAP. Um... The balance 42. Your Twitch move. Huh. I didn't know you are moving. Tell me about that. Tell me about you. Tell me what's up. I think I need to murk up in this case. Oh yeah, you're going affiliate, huh? I know you've been thinking about that, so super congrats. I should do this stupid thing, by the way. What else do I need to do before I wrap this episode up? Uh, are there any laws I can pass that would be of any sort of use to me right now? Um, at Imperial, I definitely don't want to go down from that. Ha! <laughs> huh. Yeah, I mean, it's just a different path. You have to do what I do and just basically take your Twitch recordings and just kind of cut them up, you know? That would be the big difference in your life. Or just record it and then post the whole thing on YouTube anyway. It's just that you can't stream on both at once. It's not restricted to just one or the other. So these are mercenary groups that I apparently... Oh, that 
The Varangian. How could I forget? You guys. Oh, I love you guys. Thank you for being so much of the difference in this war. You're all gonna die, by the way. Don't need any more mercs. Is there a really cheap company out there that's useful? 140, the Crocodile Company, 1413. Uh, it's gonna almost bankrupt me, but I'll sell plenty of positive income. Let me just wait until the uh, monthly tick, just double check that income figure. Yep, we could totally have done it, but we didn't. What happened there? Uh, one more monthly tick just to make sure nothing stupid happens. Now we'll recruit them. Now we'll start merging our armies up for the big one. He's sieging down this. It is in the mountains. This is where we're going to wrap this episode up. I want to thank you all. You have them being sent with Twitch over. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but we'll continue talking about that in the next episode. I want to thank you again, all of you, so much for joining me. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode and want to see more of this campaign, please hit the like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, all of those buttons. Don't forget to check out Veracity Trigger as well. He's awesome. And as always on this channel, La Paz.